Hi, and welcome to this production expert review of Weaponizer Fully Loaded by Krotos Audio. Weaponizer is a purpose-built weapon sound design solution, and the fully loaded part refers to the immense range of sound effects and sweeteners recorded and edited by Krotos for you to use in Weaponizer. When I first open a piece of software, I'm impatient, so I like to crack on without reading the manual first. The way I explore is to have a browse through the presets to see if I can work out the nuts and bolts first. Weaponizer's interface is simple and self-explanatory, but that doesn't stop you from exploiting the full power of this plugin. Even without anything loaded, you can see that there are four engines available. Onset, Body, Thump and Tail. The first three are a hybrid of sampler and synth, the fourth adding an impulse response reverb instead of the synth. Each synth is tailored towards each engine in terms of the control offered. These engines are best demonstrated by loading a commonly appearing weapon, the AK-47. When I load the preset, the sample banks and reverb populate, using samples and impulse responses from the Krotos fully loaded library. Using a MIDI keyboard, I can easily play all the layers together or play any layer individually. The burst mode toggle button beneath the big red fire button puts Weaponizer into loop mode to emulate a machine gun. Going back to the AK-47, you can hear the initial onset, the body, giving needed weight to the effect, plus the added thump. To this, the impulse response reverb adds the tail. So far, so good, but this is using Weaponizer like a simple sampler. There's a whole lot more to this plugin. A big issue with gun sound effects, especially in burst mode, is that the sound effect becomes a bit repetitive. If we look at another preset, the high-speed assault rifle, and look at the onset engine, you can see that every time I press fire, or every loop in burst mode, the samples used, or the section of the samples used, changes. This can happen across all the engines. You can add to these banks by simply dragging from the sample library into the sample bank. Weaponizer plays each of these samples in turn, in the order of the bank list. Each bank can contain up to five samples. You can then adjust the speed and the envelope of each sample. You can also program Weaponizer to automatically vary speed and volume within your defined parameters. It's simply a case of adjusting the variation control, which is directly above the speed and level knobs. As well as this, you can program Weaponizer to add a random variation on the timing using the Drunk control. This all means that the gunfire sounds more realistic as there is more natural variation in the sound being played. In this preset, instead of using a sample for the thump layer, they've used a synth. This is a simple but powerful synth engine to add deep bass pulses or indeed any synthesized layer you want to the sound effect. Once you've layered up all your samples and effects, you can adjust their relative timing using the timeline window. It's simply a case of dragging each engine to the point at which you want it to trigger. At any point, you can solo or mute each engine in the mixer section. This section is very similar to the mixer in your DAW and offers a variety of effects and dynamics as well as being able to control the reverb send levels for each engine. Using this, you can quickly and easily tailor the overall shape of the weapon effect. But enough of the tutorial, this is a review. What I love about Weaponizer is that although they supply a huge variety of effects and presets, the way the interface is laid out actively encourages you to tweak and fiddle, which helps generate unique content. I find that Weaponizer helps me to stay fresh and original. And it's not just sound designers working on action movies involving guns who can use this plugin. It can be used for any type of sound effect from any source. I found myself exploring what can be achieved using my own generated sounds. Check out this sound effect I put together earlier using Weaponizer. Thanks for watching.